Martin O'Neill started his Celtic career with a win at Tannadice, but this time the home side seemed to be up for it. A Jim Hamilton header forced an excellent save from Rab Douglas early on. United knew there wouldn't be many chances as Hamilton had another effort deflected. But Celtic soon settled and the opening goal came from the penalty spot. Hasni Al Joffrey was adjudged to have brought down Larsson in the box. And a Swedish international stepped up to blast the ball low for his 28th goal of the season. Celtic were 2 0 ahead 10 minutes later. A great burst of pace from Bobby Petta. He left the United defence in his wake. And then Chris Sutton had the perfect execution. It was great work, though, from Bobby Petta to set up the £6 million striker to side foot at home. Celtic very much in control. No sign of any Christmas spirit, and shortly before half-time, Celtic went 3-0 up. Sutton headed home, Neil Lennon's free kick. And Chris Sutton showing that he's back to full fitness with his second of the game. The league leaders dominated the second half, but only managed one more goal. Didier Agat with a hard, low cross. And Stylian Petrov directed it into the net. The points were already wrapped up, but Petrov's final touch gave him his sixth SPL goal of the season. So a happy boxing day for the Celtic manager and for the fans. 19 wins now in 23 SPL outings. The two matches against St Mirren and uh, the game against Dundee United here today were always in the back of my mind. Difficult matches, especially the way Dundee United played against Rangers. And to come here today and win anyway, um, whether we uh, scrambled home or not, uh, would have been delightful. But to come here and play the way we did was terrific. And our fans appreciate it and I appreciate it.